Okay, so still heading kind of uh, northeast here. And the rain has finally stopped. It's a little bit annoying how you get that sun glare on the compass and it makes it really hard to read sometimes. What have we got through there? I think this is the direction. So yeah, this is pretty much typical day Z where you spend most of your time running through the trees trying to get somewhere. Especially if you've uh, got friends who've joined and they want to meet you somewhere. You have to run for miles often to get places. That's why a vehicle would be awesome just to drive just to drive uh, instead of running. Just trying to keep an eye out just in case we run across a player, but it's super unlikely out here in the forest. Let's just eat that food because my hunger was getting pretty red. I'll move another one across here. It's kind of a little bit wasteful to be filling up the hunger bar with cooked meat because it's so valuable for replacing blood if I get injured, but if we see another animal just uh what we got down here? A barn. Well it's on the way, we might as well check it out. Maybe I'll find some macro of ammo down there. Probably going to have a few zombies. Unless we get lucky. Well, there's that pond. Uh, this must be... What was it? Papolka Dam? Maybe? Unless it's just a random pond of some some kind. Okay, we got a couple of zombies there. Hopefully they don't notice me if I sneak in this door. trouble with these kind of barns is the zombies yeah the zombies nearly always get aggroed for some reason I don't know if it's because of the wooden boards or whether it makes you sound louder to them or what it is okay, there we go nice oh you're still alive come on as alive as a zombie can be. Although they're supposed to be infected, aren't they, in this? So they're kind of not not exactly undead in the uh, true sense of the word. But there's not really too much of a backstory to DZ, is there? I'll take that just in case I find a revolver. Got a can of coke over here. I'll stick that in the pack. I've got another macro of mag as well. There's road flares. I don't. Oh, I've got a Winchester back there. I don't really uh, play. What the heck was that? Do you hear that? That crazy uh, foreign voice? I've got no idea what that was. 
Can I turn this down? Uh, it's pretty much already down. I don't know, maybe it's just the one-off thing. It can be annoying if people spam the mic in DayZ, but it doesn't happen too often, <coughs> thankfully. At the moment, it seems that a lot of people who play DayZ are probably an older age group than a lot of a lot of games you might play like uh, that are first person shooters say on the Xbox or whatever where you get a lot of a lot of you know 13 year olds and whatnot. okay so let's try and sneak out the back of this barn and we will head through these trees Still uh, keeping on uh, this kind of course. I don't know why the trees go all shimmery like that. That's pretty weird. Probably something to do with my graphics settings. Yeah, that is a dam. That must be that uh, the polka dam or whatever, whatever it's called. So we're, we're kind of uh, heading in the right direction here. If we keep heading in this direction, we'll, we should end up at Rog Castle, actually. So we've pretty much gone right round the, uh, you know, right round, skirting around uh, Electro altogether. This road, I'm pretty sure this road leads to, to Electro. I think Electro was the very first town that I uh, got to when yeah, when I played DayZ for the very first time. <clears throat> I pretty much spawned outside Electro and went in uh, from the from the east. Got killed by some dude in a church who was camping it, and that was my first experience of DayZ. Let's keep heading up this hill here. I'm pretty sure this hill eventually will take us to Rog Castle, where I might be able to find another another pistol, hopefully, that's going to be better than the Makarov. Like an, I'd really like a 1911 back again, or, uh, or the revolver, I guess. Let's see how far we've got to go here. 105, 112... Okay, so there should be like a dirt road that leads right past it. Not too far ahead. And from there we'll head up in this direction to Delina. I guess that'll be the plan. Alright, directly east should do it. Yeah, but if you ever get uh, like the Otmel spawn, uh, if you head straight up the hill until you reach like a dirt road, and just follow the dirt road along until you, you look up, up the hill from it, Right next to it basically is uh, Rog Castle, so it's pretty easy to find and you get some good gear straight off the bat if you do happen to spawn out at Otmel. A lot of people will commit suicide and, and try and get it spawn closer to Cherno or Electro, but it's not really necessary. In fact, it's probably going to be safer for you in terms of avoiding bandits if you spawn out here. So here's the dirt road that I was talking about. Just 
keep following this up. And the sea is down in that direction, down the hill. So I'm not going to run directly along the road because uh, you'll be able to stay in cover if you run in the trees next to the road. But if you run along the road, you're going to be exposed to people watching it. Let's move a uh, can of drink into my inventory there. Oh, I don't really need to drink anything until until it's flashing red, but we'll have it ready to go. Can't be too much further. Here we go. We've got some uh, got some very minor ruins here. I don't remember seeing these before. Let's have a look, because I'm not sure exactly which direction it is from here. 111, 112. Okay, so, okay, so it's uh, northeast along the top of this uh, ridge. Over this way. Okay, I think I can see it through the trees there now. So let's check out Rog Castle. And we've been to, I think we went to Devil's Castle a couple of times. And uh, we'll be hitting this one in, uh, not for the first time either in this, in this life. But you do get a lot of spawns here, particularly in the main tower. Or keep or whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to be careful. It's probably going to be some uh, zombies around it and there could even be players here as well a zombie right there he's heading in that direction so I'll go around this way So we've got the uh, the stairs here next to the wall. Let's check those for gear. Actually, I might just go into the um, tower first and sh secure that, just in case. And we'll come back to the uh, gatehouse and the stairway after we've checked this out. What have we got? Here. Just going to be careful. We might head up to the top here first. It would be good if I could get some ammo from a CZ. That would really be good. So far, so good. Okay, so no one's up here. And the rain's starting again. I'll drink this. We've got another can of Coke here. An empty water bottle. I'll just leave that. Let's check out the uh, view from up here.
These castles or uh, this tower kind of reminds me a bit of Minecraft because I always build a lot of towers like this in Minecraft. It's just a zombie. It's the basic kind of design. There's a whole lot of wasted space in this uh, in this tower. Okay, so let's see if we can stick some of this stuff in the pack. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's right. I don't think I can use that in the CZ, but we'll take it just in case. I've got a can heat pack. Another Makarov mag there. I'll just drop that bandage. Four mags for the Makarov. It's not too bad. And what have we here? Another Makarov mag. These things are just so common, it's crazy. Just about every second pile of loot has got a macro of mags in it. Okay, let's get around here and we'll check out the uh, stairs. Something over here. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Lucky I didn't break my leg on that. Okay, so that's pretty much all that we have here. Nothing ever spawns on top of that tower. So I've just got the gatehouse and that, that's the last area we can loot up here. Oh, great. The zombie must have been right next to the wall there. Now he's been aggroed. This is another pack, just a check backpack. Winchester, and that is pretty much it. So, we want to head <coughs> northeast still. Kind of north, north really, anyway. We'll work it out as we go. I just switched my Makarov. That direction. Let's take out this zombie. Yeah, the Makarov is pretty weak unless you hit them directly in the head with it. Alright, let's keep going. Let's find a town now. And we'll head a little bit further north. Looks like it might get dark in the not too distant future. <laughs> 